Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Ah, this video is about my package manager and my menu for Hyperland, my start menu. So to get things started, the menu is done. This can go anywhere, by the way, left, right, top, center, whatever you want. It's all in the config. You can do whatever you want with it. We'll go over that in a second. But first, I just finished fixing my package manager that I built for you guys. Um, so you can search and install things from the AUR, the Cache OS repos, the Chaotic Air UR repos, you name it, you can freaking do it. You can also go in here and search the packages that you have installed and remove them if you don't need them anymore. There's just a ton of stuff in here. I have a lot of packages. Uh, then we have the Flatpak Manager. For once, when I search Discord, everything Discord related pops up. If I search BOP, everything BOP related pops up. If I search OBS, which wouldn't work before, everything OBS related will pop up. We can also, uh, if we want it to, let's see, do I have anything here I can manage? We can do this, watch. Manage user data, there it is. Uh, we can remove data, we can create a snapshot if we need to. And the snapshot lets you choose the directory you wanna create the snapshot in. And then you can, of course, restore that snapshot. So I basically took a snapshot of my Discord. And um, the cool part is, if we go in here, like if you wanted to, let's just do a snapshot real quick and let's call yeah we're just gonna choose here okay once it says it's good to go that's the name of your snapshot you're gonna restore snapshot and it's gonna be right here choose that it's restored that's it it's done oh it says it fails if restored yada 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 oh my bad one second uh restoring this is just a bit annoying because i believe it's is it this one Failed to restore, yada, yada, yada. Well, yeah, okay. I guess it doesn't want to do it because... <sighs> Fine, whatever. It does work. It's just being a little motherfucker right now, which happens. And again, we have system updates, so if we... Yes. And I have to fix that now. Do I? Really? See, you fix one problem, breaks the other. But here's the thing. It's still showing the update. Which is funny. So, that's pretty good. That needed, all that needed was just a built-in manager for password prompt. I don't know why it did this. I'll fix it later. Um, but this is all uploaded already in, uh, what do you call it? Um, the GitHub, you'll find the description below. This needs to be reworked, clearly. This is not done. And I need to completely revamp this entire page or just get rid of it. Because honestly, I just don't, I don't like it like this. It doesn't make sense to me. So I'm most likely going to end up revamping it later on. As for the menu. So here it is. All right. You may notice it looks a lot different. It's a lot cleaner. The theme looks better. And uh, you may notice there's now five items here. Well, that's the really cool part having five items i did a lot of changes and i mean a lot and most people exaggerate when they say they did a lot but i actually did a lot of changes so as you can see we can now theme every single part of the menu we can also again change its permission it's currently not in center it's in bottom center but yeah uh, we can change its width we can change its height so if i want it to I can make this a thousand and then it's a thousand. It's not doing what it was supposed to do at a thousand, but yeah, there it is. I don't know why it's doing that. That's weird. Uh, bottom center like that. There it is. So currently center is broken. I don't know why you can mess with the offset values to make it become center if you need to. But uh, yeah, if you need it to, you can reach the entire top of the page. It will, of course, respect 
your dock if you have one or respect your panel if you have one you can make this thing full screen if you need to it, it tends to work out pretty well which is nice so there's that now another thing you could do if you don't want any of these themes uh colors that i have set you don't need to worry about it you would just remove all of this just like that and everything you remove will be auto colored if you're using n4 because i added ags color support and paint wall support or pie wall whatever they want to call it just to make life easier so there we go and if we hit save oh we can also get rid of the border color too when we hit save we start it up it's purple it's done its thing uh i think yeah everything looks to be good i like how it auto themed itself that was pretty cool Let's try to restart this just to make sure this is what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. There we go. And yep, we're good. So if we go and we hit control T uh, and I change wallpapers, say to this one. Okay. And to make sure guidance is on. Uh, and then we hit this button you can notice it completely changed with us. That's what's important. It basically just follows your color scheme. So if you don't want to end up changing anything at all, you can always rely on it to change with you, which is nice. So that makes life really easy. Uh, and if you don't want to close it with super, like I've added options here so that we can Close it on command. It's a little finicky, but it closes after you click a second time. Now this is where it gets good. Say I want nine. Nine apps to show up. Now we have a much bigger type of menu going on. It's a lot easier to see everything, right? And that's great. I love that. That's probably really good. But what if we wanted a bigger size? What if we wanted a hundred? Okay. Like this. Now we have a hundred. Look at that. Why? Well, everything scales up now. So let's say if I put 200 like this, click this button. Now we have 200. So this is meant for you people that uh, have eyesight that isn't really that good. Uh, this allows you to customize the menu according to your liking. And I wanted that, you know, because I figured it would be fair. And the same thing goes for list mode. So we set this to false. You can see that we have a gigantic menu. <laughs> and I actually do like it a lot, the fact that it's this big. Uh, we can, of course, set it down. So if you wanted to, you could totally put this to like five i believe five will work it's so tiny <laughs> but honestly uh the default is 48 so this is what it will look like for most of you and the default group size for i believe the grid is 64 yeah i think this works pretty damn well looks great works great i love it so there you go uh oh the border color. Ah, it's going to automatically do its thing. The border color is programmed in, so you can't get rid of it. Damn. I got to figure that one out. I figured y'all would enjoy this, you know, being able to have complete and utter control over everything. Uh, what happens if we hit true? I mean, that works fine. It didn't do anything, but center window's there. Okay, I hope you all found this interesting. If you did, uh, let me know, because it was definitely really fun to make this thing. 
And it's nice to know that I, uh, I could do this and that Hyperland has a proper start menu now, an application launcher, if you will. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.